Father, thank you for always hearing my prayers and allowing me to walk in your divine favor. In the name of Jesus, I plead my cause before you because I have been justified through your blood. I plead the blood of Jesus over my life, my home, my family, over all my affairs and over all of which you have made me a steward. I plead the blood of Jesus on the portals of my mind, my body, which is the temple of the Holy Spirit, and my emotions. Therefore, I am confident that I am protected by the blood of the Lamb, and nothing by any means shall come to harm me and my family. I declare no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper, because it is my heritage as a servant of the Lord. I plead the blood over my children, my grandchildren, and others that are connected to me. Lord, you said that the life of the flesh is in the blood. Thank you for being the life sustainer, for your blood has cleansed me from sin and shame. I am now a partaker and joint heir to the kingdom of God. In Jesus' name, amen. My friends, I believe it is relevant to plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Every time we read aloud the scriptures concerning the blood of Jesus Christ, we are pleading and declaring its cause. Every time believers preach concerning the blood of Jesus Christ, we are pleading its power over evil and sin. If we can read and preach about it, then surely it is likewise with our prayers. We most certainly can pray the blood of Jesus Christ. Acts chapter 20 and verse 28 Keep watch over yourselves and all the flock of which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers. Be shepherds of the church of God, which he bought with his own blood. Colossians chapter 1 and verse 20. And through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 7. In him we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace. Hebrews chapter 9 and 14 How much more then will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself unblemished to God, cleanse our consciences from acts that lead to death, so that we may serve the living God? Hebrews chapter 9 verse 22 In fact, the law requires that nearly everything be cleansed with blood. And without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness. 1 John 1 verse 7 But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus his Son purifies us from all sin.